Hey guys, in this video I will be showing you how to play on any existing world when hosting your Valheim dedicated server. Before we get started, you need to already have a Valheim dedicated server set up. If you haven't done this yet, I made a tutorial already that shows you exactly what you need to do. I'll put a link in the description. If you guys are having trouble with this guide, feel free to ask any questions in the comments below. And also you join my Discord server. I'll put a link to my Discord server in the description down below. Before I get started, feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an upload. To start off this tutorial, the first thing you're going to want to do is open the run command. You do this by pressing the Windows key and the R key together. And then I will put this in the description. There will be a line of text that you want to paste in here. In this folder is where you will find your worlds that you have saved on your computer. If the world is saved on a different computer, you must copy over those files onto the computer you will be hosting the Volheim dedicated server from. In this folder is where you will find your worlds that you have saved on your computer. If the world is saved on a different computer, you must copy over those files onto the computer you will be hosting from. This also means that you can actually use anyone else's world in your Valheim dedicated server you're hosting. So, for example, right now, I am using the Mark world for my current server setup, but let's say I wanted to switch it to another world I have. Let's say I wanted to switch it to the test server. In that case, the next thing you want to do is head over to your Valheim server files, and then you want to go to Steam Apps common Valheim dedicated server and then you want to find the start server dot bat file you have this is the default name you want to right click on that click edit and then if you can see right here where it says mark with a, another K at the end that is the same exact world as the one selected right here so if I wanted to change it to the test server world all I would have to do is highlight this and replace it with test server and make sure not to put the file extension at the end, just put the actual name of the file itself, just like I did here. And then after that, what you want to do is just click X and save. And then after that, you want to start up your server by clicking on the start server.bat file. So what we want to do next is we want to make sure the new world is being hosted on the server. So first you want to just go to Steam, launch your game. And then once the game fully loads up, Go ahead and go back to Steam, click on View in the top left corner, click Servers, and then you want to find your server. If it's not already on your favorites, go ahead, click Add a Server, type in your IP address, and follow it by the port. Usually it's followed by 2457 is what works for me, but sometimes it could be a 6 at the end, or sometimes it could be an 8. So I'm just going to go ahead and double click on here and type in the password. And as you can see, it's asking for the password again. And then as you can see here, this is actually one of my pre-existing worlds, but this is like an older save file of my current server I'm hosting. So if you're able to get to this point, that means you've done everything correctly. So just like I said in the beginning of the video, if you guys are having trouble with this guide, feel free to leave any questions down in the comments below or also in my Discord channel, which you can join by clicking on the link in the description. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you never miss an upload. I will be posting a lot more Valheim content, so stay tuned, guys. Also, let me know if you have any suggestions for videos I should make on Valheim.